Hi, this is Mark. I've been watching a series recently called The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. It's got Anya Taylor-Joy playing Beth Harmon, Elizabeth Harmon. And she's a chess prodigy. And it shows her life and times from a child to adulthood. It's a period drama, coming of age story of a, a very talented young girl who becomes a very talented young woman. It shows her at the start uh, in being brought to an orphanage and she's very smart she's one of those kids where she finishes the exam and <laughs> she's basically given a duster to go down and clean the duster in the basement and they're giving out tranquilizer pills to the kids as well and she's having kind of hallucinations as well and she sees Mr. Sheppel Bill Camp who's a great actor Bill Camp now you'd see in a lot of movies Bill's been in um, Joker, The Killing of a Sacred Deer, and he, he was in a great movie with Dark Waters with Mark Ruffalo recently. And Mr. Sheppel is the, the groundsman, the kind of caretaker of the orphanage, and he's playing chess just by himself. And Beth Harmon, Beth starts noticing him and watching how he's moving the the pieces on the board and she kind of figures out what he's doing but she asks him to show her how to play chess and he shows her in a way and she starts they start competing against each other every time she's finished her exams early it shows then you know they're taking tranquilizer pills to kind of keep the kids kind of um you know under control as they, as they would have seen it and in the 1960s and she gets kind of hooked on them when they start getting rid of them when the government brings in a law to stop tranquilizing children. But she's kind of hooked on them then, and she's she's kind of um, she's playing chess, and she's seen images of chess boards on the ceiling, and she's kind of out of it as well. But she's playing, but she, she enters some of these early tournaments, and she starts winning. Alma and Alston Wheatley take her in. They foster her in a nice big house, but the father's away a lot. So it's just herself and the mother, and she's on these tranquilizers as well that she'd been taking bet in in school. So she she takes some of them for herself, you know. But she ends up, um, you know, going seeing a paper in one of the shops when she was getting the tranquilizer for her mother, and sees one of the magazines, and she sees there's some tournaments, chess tournaments coming up, and she asks, um, she sends a letter over to um, Mister Shapel. Bill Camp, just for some money, entrance money for the tournament. So she goes to that tournament, I think it's the Kentucky Championship, the Kentucky Championships, and she plays Harry Beltek. He's kind of the champion, so she gets through the rounds. Mostly, she plays a girl in the first round, I think, and then she plays a lot of different men, different boys along the way. Then she's she's up against then she goes traveling with her mother a lot then all over America on planes and they have great times, and then she ends up hearing about the um, the United States Championships, and Benny Watts who's who's the United States champion. You know she she meets some players along the way and she's kind of gets has a crush on this journalist and fellow player, D L Towns kind of love her life you know her her first love anyway. It basically shows then the rise of her of of herself in the chess world while she's kind of has a drug and alcohol dependency. You know, and it, it kinda of shows both sides of that story as it goes along, the ups and downs of her life. She met a girl in the in the orphanage earlier on, Jolene, and she kinda of comes to her aid and helps her like when uh, her mother passes away and she's just by herself in the big house. And she takes on the best of the best as well. As, but she she beats everyone, even Benny Watts, the, the US champion. And her big aim and then is just to, to beat all the Russians, which she does. And then she plays Borgoff, and he had beaten her earlier on, as, as Benny Watts had. And it's just very difficult for her to play against him. You know, but eventually she wins out in the end. And in the end of the series, this is a seven-part series on Netflix, The Queen's Gambit, is excellent. I, I love the end of the series. I won't spoil it here. But she, she's on the way to the airport, and she just gets out of her car. 
it's just uh, it's it's an excellent ending, and I think um, the the actress, Anya Taylor Joy, I think she's from Florida. She's she's excellent in the role. Just the way she portrays the character, different sides to her, is amazing, you know. And um, she's just basically fixated on chess. I mean, and she does get along with people as well. She is social, you know, but she has her own type of social friends. So that that's the review of the Queen's Gambit. When you, if you like this review, just just you can like our page and subscribe to the Lear Media channel, and you can watch more Lear Media videos such as "Be My Guest" and "The Final Whistle." I'll be back for another review very soon.